and the Ghanaian government has commended Ghanaians, especially frontline health workers of the Ghana Health Services, GHS, for their commitment towards the fight against the novel coronavirus disease in the country. According to the government, it was pleased with the commitment and sacrifices made by Ghanaians uh, towards uh, defeating the disease so far. At a press conference in Kumasi yesterday, the Minister for Information, Kojo Pong Nkrumah, said the government was uh, pleased with the roles the various stakeholders had played towards the eradication of the virus from the country. And to speak more on this, uh, we have a Yali TV manager, Selassie Aswo, joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Quickly bring us up to speed with the reality um, in uh, Ghana. Are you confident that Ghana is uh, currently winning the war against the virus? Certainly, I, I, I'll say so. With uh, the current statistics that have been um, presented by the Ministry of Health and the Ghana Health Service, um, it, is, it gives a good indication of how the health services in Ghana, as well as the citizenry, are contributing to fighting the virus. Currently, as of yesterday, we had 75 new cases that were reported, and which, which is out of a total of 45,388 cases that have been recorded in total, with about 44,267 recoveries that have been made so far. Ghana has recorded 285 deaths. And as we speak, the greater Accra region, uh, which will have been uh, synonymous with the state in, uh, in Nigeria, currently has the highest cases of over 22,000, whilst the northern east region of Ghana, which is one of the newly created regions, has recorded about 19 cases as at, as at yesterday. Currently, the percentage cases among male and female, male have about 58, account to 58% of cases, whilst the ladies or women or female account for 48. So far, um, the government of Ghana has given directives that on a large scale have been adhered to um, in public uh, transport, um, in gatherings, um, in the churches, as well as other public event, uh, other public uh, um, uh, locations like the markets, malls, and places of gathering. People are adhering to wearing of the mask. But of course, uh, you, as you expect, in a human society, there are some few people who are indifferent to the wearing of masks, complaining that they have uneasiness in wearing the mask. There have also been a school of thought that a lot of consideration has to go into finding out what are some of the measures that can be taken in the Ghanaian context that could also provide uh, right. uh, vaccines as well as uh, prompt testing as the borders have been opened, as uh, the air borders have been opened. So currently right. the protocol I, I, I was, was, airport uh, is operational. But measures have been put in place to ensure that as many that come through from the various airlines are screened at the airport and ensure that most of the people who are coming to the country. Are I, was, I was just going to ask you what you feel, you know, what more you feel must be done or can be done in Ghana. Technically, from, uh, there's a school of thought that, that feels that now the virus is with us. Therefore, it means more pragmatic steps and measures and protocols have to be put in place depending on the groupings. For instance, in schools, in banks, in, in churches, measures have to be put in place. And one of the institutions that uh, could be used as a good reference point is the churches. Most of the churches, uh, because of the large number of people who come in, have really done well with the protocols. They've planted, uh, they have... Um, um, uh, sanitation base, some have a disinfection base, some have uh, brought in PPEs to ensure that they test, uh, they, they check the temperature of uh, people who are coming in. Some have established teams, uh, some of the churches we visited as of last week have teams, COVID-19 compliance teams to ensure that if there is any suspected case, they could uh, take care of it. I think also that um, Beyond all the measures that have been taken or instructed by government, there should be a, a team or a board that will be instituted, instituted to ensure that all institutions are represented from academia to the business community to government community to sit down to draft a policy, a national policy that could be implemented going forward in 2021. Since we have about just a few days to the end of the year, yeah. these teams could, this consultation, roundtable consultations could be held to come up with uh, practical protocols that affect all stakeholders across the various industries of governance.
And, and quickly before you go, also speak on the Ghanaian economy and um, does it seem to be picking up? You know, how much damage was you know, done, first of all, and how are things getting back to normal, if, if, uh, if that's the case? It is a mixed feeling because uh, 2020 happens to be the year for the general elections of Ghana. So um, COVID-19 has put a sort of restriction on the usual campaign activities, which usually comes with some level of economic boom in the towns that the, the major flag bearers of the presidential candidates visit. Nevertheless, um, the government of Ghana came up with some measures to support various businesses as well as uh, SMEs to ensure that they had some stimulus package to come back after the, the long period of lockdown. Nevertheless, uh, the elections also has a, a role to play. So currently most industry captains are trying to engage with the various political parties now that their manifestos are out to really understand what they have to offer the various sectors of the economy. So it is a little bit of a mixed feeling currently because the election has has really taken a toll on the country. We have some few days, uh, a little over 85 days plus to the general uh, presidential and parliamentary elections in Ghana, which we have on, November, on December 7th. So currently it, it has cast a little shadow vis-a-vis -vis the uh, COVID-19 uh, challenge as well. But I would say it, it's not been uh, easy for any economy across the world, not even for the, 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 the best uh, economic nations on, on planet Earth today. So Ghana is doing fairly well. It's not been easy. At the top level, um, policy level, policies are still being drafted to ensure that they, they cushion the, the shocks of the economic effect that COVID-19 had. But on the average, people are still picking up. Uh, the public transport system is picking up. Um, the educational sector has been most hit because currently academic activities have been postponed to 2021, and private institutions in the country are the most hit because they do not, uh, the, the, the teachers do not have access to payment because their economic uh, revenue in, uh, income flow is, is down. All right. So well, most of the private teachers associations a... are currently the ones who are complaining most because most of them are out of job. Okay. All right. Um, a pretty interesting picture you've painted there of Ghana. Uh, Selassie, as well, thank you so much for speaking with us. It's always a pleasure.